What's up YouTube? It's me Rashad, 360 Wave Process Rashad. And today we're about to talk about growing your beard out. I didn't used to always have a beard. If you see all my other videos, up until recently, I did not have a beard. So I'm gonna tell you guys how I grew my beard out. Right now, I keep it trimmed. I could have it grow longer, but I'm not even gonna do that. That's not the way I like to style it. But I'm about to give you guys tips on how you can grow your beard out faster. Let's get into the video. Hit the like button, subscribe. Let's go. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. You'll never have the sacred stone. <laughs> oh, this you crazy mother. All right, I'm gonna cut to the chase. I'm gonna let you guys know up front. At some point in time, when you go through puberty, you're supposed to start growing facial hair, hair all over your body. Some guys hit puberty before other guys. And some guys, even if they hit puberty, their hair just may not grow as full as other guys, all right? That's all a matter of genetics. Some guys get full grown beards while they're still in high school. They 17, they be looking like they 32. You know what I mean? And then some guys be about 21 years old and they still wondering like, when my beard about to grow in, man. We all know about this. It's not new. There are certain things that you can do to kind of get your beard to come in a little bit faster. I'm gonna tell you guys something that you could do that's simple. And then I'm gonna tell you guys the method that I used which didn't include any biotin. So let's get into the tips. First of all, let me tell you guys what's up. A mustache and all of this facial hair, this shows that you're a man. One distinct feature of a man is testosterone. So I need y'all to get y'all testosterone up. That's gonna help your beard grow in faster. If you got too much estrogen going on in your body, if you're drinking soy milk all the time, mm, you gotta cut that out. The way that you get your testosterone levels up is by freaking working out. If you having trouble growing your beard, trust me, that's gonna work. When you work out, your testosterone levels, they rise and it just goes through your blood and that just make you more manly. So keep that in mind. I got the weights right here, y'all. I mean, I be working out. I know I look kind of skinny. I do most of my workouts. I do most of my workouts running. I just run and jog for fun, but get in the weight room too. You gotta get your testosterone levels up. Next tip. All right, another thing you could do for your beard is to comb it, okay? This is all during the process of growing it out. If it grows high enough for you to comb, comb it. If it does not grow high enough for you to comb, then what you do is you brush it. You brush and comb periodically, okay? Just to stimulate your hair follicles. That's what you're doing, okay? You're stimulating it. It stimulates your hair follicles and facilitates growth. So comb and brush your beard. If your beard does not grow out full and you want it to grow in faster, then what you want to do is you want to let it grow out to the point where it just won't grow anymore, okay? And then at that point when you're like, all right, it's not going to grow anymore, you shave it off, all right? What this will do is it will help your hair understand over time that it needs to grow. After a while, you'll notice like, dang, my hair is starting to get fuller like this. You see what I mean? It comes in full. Some of y'all might be like, I'm not trying to shave it off. I'm just trying to grow it fuller and faster. So if you don't want to shave it off, what you can do, an alternative to shaving it off completely is to trim it. In order to trim your beard, you can use some trimmers, you know what I mean? And then you can get a guard on the trimmers. I'll show you guys this up close. These are just some regular Andy's T outliners. I'll have the link to these in the description. What you do is you put the guard on these and then you go over your beard and it trims it down. It won't shave it all the way off, it'll just trim it. You can adjust it with different guards. Some guards are higher, which you keep more hair on your face, and some are lower. But let me give y'all guys the next tip. Don't be afraid to shave it. You shave it, if it's not growing in how you want, you shave it and you let it grow back. So, that's the tip right there, shave it. The next tip I'm gonna give you guys is for those dudes who they hit puberty, but for some reason, I don't know, it could be genetics, the beard isn't growing in at all really. What I want you to do is I want you to provide the area on your face extra nutrients. This will help. What I have right here is hair and scalp conditioner. If you get yourself a hair and scalp conditioner, this will help stimulate growth by providing extra nutrients to that area of your skin. Let's just say right here. If, if it doesn't grow right here, then what you do is you'll get some of that, just a little bit, you'll dab your hand in it. If you guys wanna see what this looks like, it looks like this. You rub it on both sides. 
make sure you clean your face before you do that, okay? Wash your face and then get your hair and scalp conditioner and you rub it on your face. And what that will do is it will provide extra nutrients to that area of your face and it will facilitate hair growth. That's a good tip. So if you don't have hair growing and you're like, dang, I'm 21 or I'm 18. I hit puberty when I was 16, but my hair ain't growing right. Do that hair and scalp conditioner on your face like once every other day and that will help facilitate growth. Link to that hair and scalp conditioner that I just used, I have a link in the description. You can also use African Shea Butter, all right? This is just a very good all around natural product. If you wanna read that label, you can read that label right there. You rub it on there. If you don't wanna use that hair and scalp conditioner, you can use African Shea Butter. Okay, I don't wanna keep you guys here much longer than needed, but just to go over the tips, if you wanna grow your beard out faster and it doesn't just go on its own and you wanna help it go a little bit faster, you can stimulate growth by combing your beard and brushing it, all right? If your hair doesn't grow long enough so that you can comb it, you could use a brush and that will help facilitate some growth. Also, if you want your beard to come in more full and it's kind of patchy, what you can do is you can line it up, right? so that it looks nice and then let it grow to the point where it won't grow anymore. The point when you get frustrated and you're like, oh man, it's supposed to be growing more so it can come in full. When it gets to that point and it stops growing, then that's when you shave it off, okay? Or if you don't wanna shave it off completely, you trim it and you let it keep growing. It's a, it's a process. You erase it or you chip some off and then you let it grow and then when it stops growing you chip it off you keep doing that and over time your hair will start growing longer and longer on your face also don't forget about that final tip that i gave you guys about the hair and scalp conditioner or african shea butter along the process of you doing the trims or the shaves you need to be providing your face with extra nutrients and you can do that by rubbing the hair and scalp conditioner or the african shea butter Trust me, those tips right there are the most easy natural tips that you can do to grow your beard out faster, okay? And don't forget about working out. I'm, I'm serious about that. You need that testosterone because if you don't got enough testosterone going in your body, your body can't do these manly things like grow a beard. You know what I mean? All right, so yeah, those are the tips, you guys. Hit the like button, subscribe, 360 Wave Process Rashad. A wave video coming out maybe in a, a couple of days because this is not a wave video, but I just wanted to come on here and help y'all guys with this tip right here for this video, okay? Yeah, so I'm about to get out of here. I'm gonna see y'all in my next video. Peace. Pssh.